thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I'm going to show you how I created this art journal page. It is There's Beauty and Diversity and I used Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2, a couple other um, minor uh, art supplies just as highlights, but the primary was done with Neo Color 2. And I didn't do a lot of mixing of colors, primarily because I wanted it to be simple in case you want to follow along and create a page like this for yourself. Um, normally I mix colors and make a lot of different tones, but I wanted the tones to come directly from the art supply itself. So I'll list the colors that I used and show you how I did the skin tones and the faces and then uh, hopefully it'll inspire you to maybe do a page like this in your art journal. So stay tuned and let's get started and I'm gonna uh, do a speed painting of how I did these faces in Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2. And I do ask that uh, people refrain from any negative comments. Um, you know someone might say well why didn't you why didn't you put an Indian girl or um, a Swedish girl or why did you use the stereotypical blonde haired blue eyed for the white girl there's going to be lots and lots of people who are going to choose to criticize and judge what I've done here but you know what I love what I did I think it's absolutely beautiful I'm so proud of it each girl has got personality and sass and character and I really uh, feel like I um, just really did what I set out to do so please leave your negative comments off if they're negative or racially motivated I will delete them so this is for fun and inspiration only so I just wanted to demonstrate some techniques with Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 crayons and a diversity of skin tones so I've gone ahead and sketched out a little sketch here with some different ethnicities uh, Asian Latino, a beautiful black woman, and a white woman all together. And this, hopefully this video won't offend anybody because certainly I don't intend to offend anybody. I'm, um, it's not about race, it's just about beauty. And so let's just get started and play around with some different skin tones. So the first thing I like to do is a pencil sketch and I used references from the computer, um, photographs of women. That's what I used for my references for sketching out the different features of the women. And then I use a Tombow Mono drawing pen. That's my favorite drawing pen. So my next thing is to go in and ink this drawing and um, then I'll come back and add my color to it. So once I've sketched it out in pencil then I go back in my drawing pen and then I just do some light ink work. Now this isn't the final ink work it's just to ink in the base for the shapes for me and this is just my process and how I do it and then I go ahead and erase all the pencil line so that all that's left is the light ink work. Some of it will still show, some of it won't, but it just gives me my, my guides for when I start adding in the color. So I'm going to go ahead and erase all my pencil. Okay, so now my pencil line's all erased and I'm ready to go with adding color. And these certainly could be colored in with any type of medium. It's in a Strathmore a Strathmore 400 series watercolor sketchbook so I could paint these with watercolor and I could use Tombow markers or eco lines or anything that's a water soluble uh, type of ink but my favorite thing to use is Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2. So I'm going to use my Neo Colors and a water brush and then I'll just explain to you as I go along what colors I'm using. So here I'm starting with a pale yellow, it's number 011, and I'm putting down a base over the entire face of the pale yellow. And I just put down a simple layer and then I go back in and I use the same color again and I start adding some extra layers to make some warmth and some depth. I do let it dry between layers. And now my second color I'm adding is light ye lemon yellow, which is number 241, 241. And the third color I add is flesh. Now I'm taking black, number 9, and I do a light base 
all over the hair. And this is to make some gradients. I uh, pick up more color and as you see I can go in and shade heavier in some spots. The more pigment you pick up from the end of the crayon, the darker it's going to be when you put it down on the page. And this is how I'm getting going to get shadows and highlights in her hair. I add a soft touch of pink to her lips and sepia to her eyes. For the next girl, I start with a base layer of flesh tone. And then I let it dry and I come in and start shading again with a second layer of flesh color, number 042. And the next color I use is ochre number 035 and this is just to start adding in some warmth and some tones to her face. And now I'm using raw sienna. This is really going to add some some depth and warmth to the skin tones on this face. It looks a little bit yellow and orange on camera but in person it's very very nice. It looks natural and realistic. And keep in mind, these are not uh, realism paintings. This is in an art journal, and it's more, you know, fantasy-ish drawing. So um, it's, it's not realism, and it's not meant to be. So I'm just working away at this, just adding layer upon layer, letting it dry in between, just to build up those layers. And this final layer here is raw sienna. And I use pink number 081 on her lips and brown on the eyes. To give her hair warmth, I start with a layer of cinnamon. And I'm just basically using it like a wash initially, just to fill in her hair color. And now I'm going over it with black. Because I basically want her to have black hair, but I wanted that brown base so that it would make it a little bit warmer underneath. You can see a little bit through it so it's warm. And I just use my brush, pick up more um, product with my brush. The more pigment you pick up, the darker it is, again, like the first one. And I'm going in and just adding the texture to her hair, trying to make the waves in her hair, and then keep building and building to make the darkness and the light and have it be darker underneath her neck, some hairs coming down along her shoulders and just build it up, work on it, and add the same color to her eyebrows. And once again, I use pink on the lips. And for this next girl, I start with a layer of flesh. I put it over her entire face, over her lips, nose, neck, shoulders, and I let it dry. Next, I add a layer of pink. And this is just to soften it and bring in a nice tone. And I really love how that pink looks. And now I'm using cinnamon. And I'm just doing a really light wash of cinnamon. And I'm using it more like a highlight to go into some places and make them a little dark. I add some raw sienna to make some more shadows and to just keep building up these tones on her face. I add some Toledo Brown, which is really dark, and that makes some really nice shadows. And I go back and forth between all these colors I'm mentioning. This is Toledo Brown. I use uh, raw sienna. I use ochre. I go and put in a little bit of pink and I just keep playing around building up those layers 
until I get it exactly the way I want it to look. And those are the colors that I use. And it's just a matter of playing and layering and playing and layering until you like it. And in her eyes, I used Van Dyke Brown and then black for her hair. So I'm doing the same thing as the previous one where I put down the base layer of black as a wash and then pick up more pigment and start adding in the actual texture details of her hair with making little swirls and adding in some character and some depth, making light places, dark places, and just work on it and work on it until I get it the way that I want it. It just takes practice and it takes a lot of patience and you just want to use it as a wash or as um, a liner at the end of your water brush and you just keep building it and building it. Dark underneath her neck would be the darkest spots of her hair underneath and just build it up until you get it the way you want it. And don't forget to add color to those eyebrows. So I go back in and I add a little neo color to the eyebrows. Now I made a mistake on this girl. I didn't like her chin, so I added some gesso and some acrylic paint to try to correct it. I do a base layer on her hair, her blonde hair with Naples yellow. And then I add some to her eyebrows. I let it dry and add a second layer making the uh, shadow areas where it's darker. So I add the darker, a darker bit of it to the underneath sides and the very, very top in the crown. And now I start working on her skin with using flush number 042 and just doing the same technique of building it up. So I put on a layer, I let it dry, I build it up. I let it dry and I keep doing that over and over again just to build it up. I'm adding some pink to her lips, same pink as before, a little pink to her cheeks. I use little bits of turquoise for her eyes. So here are the girls with their um, Karen Dosh Neo Color faces. I love how they turned out. I think they look stunning. And now um, this one, I think on camera, it looks very orange, very yellowy. And in person, it doesn't look like that. It looks a lot better. So I think they all turned out just really pretty. I love the skin tones. And now on to the next. So my favorite part is adding the details. And I like to use a Tombow Mono Liner Pen to come back in and add details. So I'm adding in the darker spots above the eye and eyelashes. I'm gonna sharpen up the pupils and just add in all the fine details, eyebrow, hairs, things like that. So I'm gonna work on that and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So I've gone through and I've added all my little highlights and touches with my, my uh, pens. I did use a little bit, like to make this really deep black, I did use um, a Faber-Castell pit artist pen in black to make the fine hairs that come down and add some detail into the hair. and. Um, now what I like to do is take a white Posca pen and I like to add a little highlight to the bottom lip. On each one I'm going to go through and add that little highlight just to make it pop. A little highlight on the end of the nose in white. Even on this one, let's see. So just a little highlight really makes it pop. And then the little highlight in the eyes. So each one is going to get those little highlights in their eyes. really 
brings those eyes to life. The touch of white just brings things out. I like that touch of white. And for the background, I'm going to use Jane Davenport Layer Cakes in this blue and this aqua blue. I love how easy those uh, Jane Davenport Layer Cakes are for um, adding your background and just putting on color into the background. They're just so smooth and so creamy and it's easy to just spread them out and bring it up to and blend it up to the hair. And it just made a beautiful background. I love it. And I left it um, with it looking a little bit brush stroke-ish, uh, you know, with the brush stroke showing. And I chose not to use the second color of blue. I liked the aqua just by itself. I think it just made a really beautiful background. I went heavier in some spots and lighter in other spots just to make a little bit of interest. And the color is just gorgeous and it really goes super well with all the girls and their different skin tones. So I'm glad that I chose to use layer cakes, the new layer cakes for my uh, background behind the girls. My final step was to take a pink Posca pen and I wrote at the bottom, there is beauty in diversity. So I added those words at the bottom across the two pages. There is beauty in diversity. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on doing some different skin tones and different ethnicities with um, using Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2. We didn't mix colors, we just used them straight from the crayon and look what we're able to achieve. So I hope you give this a try in your art journal. I love how it came out and I really truly had a good time doing this art journal layout. So give it a try because art soothes the heart.